Now, you might have heard of Chrome's origin trials. These are a way for developers to test an experimental web platform feature and for the Chrome team to get feedback and rapidly iterate design. Origin trials allow Chrome to make an experimental feature available for a limited time to get feedback, but only to sites that opt in to trying it out. And this enables web developers to test experimental features in production with real users and not just their developer team. But it also allows Chrome engineers to quickly iterate feature design in response to feedback. Now, not all origin trials are for testing new APIs. Some trials allow a deprecated feature to be temporarily re-enabled. And these are known as deprecation trials. And yeah, we appreciate that, you know, the name can be a little confusing, but you can think of it as you controlling the deprecation for a trial period. For example, from Chrome 85, app cache was no longer available in Chrome by default, and sites needing extra time to migrate off app cache could register for the deprecation trial to continue using app cache until Chrome 93. And likewise, starting in 2022, the Web SQL database API was deprecated. However, from Chrome 117 to 123, a deprecation trial was made available to give developers using Web SQL the option to have more time to migrate off the API. Now, taking part in a deprecation trial is just like taking part in any origin trial. It's just that a deprecation trial enables you to access a deprecated Chrome feature rather than to try out a new feature. And to take part in a deprecation trial, you go to the page for the trial, you fill in your details, click register, and copy the token value. Now, when you register for a deprecation trial, always make sure to check if there are trial-specific instructions from, you know, documentation or a blog post for the trial. And you need to make the token available wherever you want to use the deprecated feature, using an HTML meta tag or in an HTTP header or with JavaScript. And you can find out more about the most appropriate way to deploy tokens for different use cases from our guide to origin trials. And you can also try out our demos. Now, one thing to remember, you need to provide a trial token for every context that wants to access a trial feature. And that means that every document in an embedded iframe that wants to access a deprecation trial feature needs to provide a token that matches its origin. And that's even if the iframe's origin is the same as for the top level page that contains it. So that's Chrome's deprecation trials. To find out more, take a look at our article. And you can find out more about origin trials in general from our article at goo.gle slash OT. And our article Troubleshoot Chrome Origin Trials is a great place to start if you run into problems. So thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other videos in the Chrome Concepts series.